Hi everyone, my name is Rachel, the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I'm here today as a reader and writer to talk about Breach of Peace, which is a novella by Daniel B. Green, who has a YouTube channel that I watch. And this is a new release book, so here I am. The author has stated in videos that I've seen before I read this book as an introduction into his world where he's working on his novels. And so that is the mind frame, mind frame? So that is the frame of mind that I was in when I started this book is that it was going to be a quick look into the world. And just to start off, I will say I gave this book four stars. The author himself has said it's not perfect and he's right, but this book shows his great potential. I think he did so many things really well and authors get better as they write. And so if this is what he's putting out now as his first foray to get people excited, yeah, I am excited to read more stories in this world. I think that his best or the best attribute of this book was the characters. So I would have liked this novella to be a little bit longer. He built it in, started everything going, and then about halfway through, we just started getting like, oh, here's the next thing, here's the next thing, which made this a very plot-heavy book for me. I would have liked to have seen more characters pushing action rather than, I need these things to work into, work for this plot. For me, it was a little bit jarring to switch points of view to Chapman at the very beginning. And then that's all we get. We don't get another point of view option for him later down the road, which I think was a missed opportunity, especially with how he was being built. I enjoyed getting to see a character that was in a happy relationship so many times, especially with a like military or police officer character. They're not in a happy relationship. And so it was nice to get to see a different side of that to say, yes, there are people who make this work. It's not perfect, but love really is a beautiful thing. Since this is a novella, I can't say too much about it without spoiling it. But I, I really did like the writing. There were, there were some stylistic elements that I know he did on purpose, but they kind of broke the story for me. Um, when he drops his foreshadowing lines and I'm like, oh man, I would have liked to have not had that foreshadowing line and then had the heartbreak at the end of the story. But like I said, I realize that that is a stylistic choice because it's used in other stories as well. And it does work in this story. It's just a personal preference that I would rather not have had it. I know there were some moments where he was giving us information. Again, I think that if this was a little bit longer, had a little bit longer investigation in it before the finale, we could have, he could have introduced those world building elements without telling us. He did a really good job walking the info line dump. I don't think it was a dump per se, but it was a point in the book where I was like, okay, this is more exposition. I think that he did a really good job. I gave this four stars, and I'm looking forward to when his novel does come out in the future. If you have read this, please let me know what you thought. And if you haven't, give it a shot. It, it was really good. Thank you, and have a good day.